We have been lobbying uh, Washington, D.C. now for years, right, because of the federal debt crisis uh, here that exists in Puerto Rico. We've been saying, you know, you know, we tell our legislators that we need to have debt forgiveness for Puerto Rico. Obviously, after the hurricane, a lot of the focus has been around, again, relief efforts, right, and, and really what FEMA needs to do. And unfortunately, we know that the response from the federal government has been woefully inadequate, really, some would say even criminal, right, uh, for their lack of leadership, their, their negligence, right, and almost abandonment of the people in Puerto Rico. So we continue, right, uh, ever since uh, the storm hit for the past six months, to really elevate the needs here in Puerto Rico, to remind our legislators legislators, our Congress members uh, in D.C., that they have a moral responsibility to Puerto Rico, but also they have a legal responsibility. These are American citizens, right, that deserve everything that you, that citizens in Houston deserve, that every everything that, that citizens in Florida deserve, and in other parts of the country, like California. We, we had this rash of natural disasters in the in, 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 in U.S., uh, but Puerto Rico happens to be part of the United States, and so we know that the needs here, which the governor has said, right, $94 billion we need to help Puerto Rico recover, to help Puerto Rico heal, uh, we've received a, a fraction of that uh, today. Thank you so much. Thank you, of course. Thank you.